Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid Season 2, Episode 4, I believe. Welcome back to the Football Pyramid. Everyone knows the rules by now. Eight questions of ascending difficulty to see how far they can rise up the English Football Pyramid, National League, three lifelines up to the Champions League winner, blah, 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 blah. I've got <laughs> Zach Jalab and Joe Tomlinson for your viewing pleasure today. Zachary, how are you, my friend? Uh, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. A little bit, a little bit groggy. We went to an old comedy mm. night yesterday, all of us, mm. and uh, and Joe did a set. It was unbelievable. Did, it was incredible. I, I did. I got pulled up on stage for heckling too much. That's not a set. <laughs> Editor, cut in the video where Joe is on stage. It's a beautiful watch, lads. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> definitely, definitely don't do that. I do not give my permission for that. To happen. <laughs> well, but yeah, Joe. I mean, you were a little bit of a fish out of water up there. Do you think you'd be better at the quiz than you were at stand-up Ooh. comedy? Probably not, mate. Probably not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know, I was probably heckling too much. But it is part of the night. You're meant. You're, you're meant to be heckling the amateur comedians. Maybe some heckles went too far. We got pulled oh. up. These things happen. I took one for the team. It wasn't just me heckling. Zach was sat behind me heckling away. But then when the spotlight got turned of him coward like no, look, it, it, we were there for seat, your we it? were there for your birthday mate so of course you had mm. to go up i do feel sorry yeah. for the guy that got uh harry mcguired shall we say he looked a little bit like big h and uh he, he, was, he was yeah. done within 15 seconds yeah as yeah. a guy who gets a lot of footballer lookalikes I, I can tell that guy would be quite gutted i think <laughs> um anyway let's crack on with the show today i think joe you've had the probably harder last 12 hours so i'm going to give you the call of left or right for the little um sort oh. of usb thingy uh, I'll go left, mate. It is left. Do you like? Would you like to go first or second? Uh, let's go first. Let's go oh. first. Like a penalty shootout, statistically the better odds for the first goers, aren't they? Big. Okay, here we go. Right, Joe. Your question in the National League comes in from It's Pilko. Which of these people is a manager of a London-based Premier League team? A. Ted Lasso. B. Nathan Shelley. C. Bob Bradley. Or D. David Moyes. No. David Moyes, thankfully, that name came up yeah, I didn't Jesus. know who any of the other people were. <laughs> Correct, well done, you're going up Shout to out Ted. Two. Who, who the hell were the other people? Ted Lasso. Well, who were they? I don't know who Nathan Shelley, uh, Bob Bradley's that American guy. Um, Bob Bradley. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. He struggled big time. Uh, Zachary, <laughs> your question also comes in from It's Pilko. Who is the Premier League's all-time top scorer? A, Alan Shearer. B, Santiago Munez. C, Jamie Tart, or D, Danny Meehan? <laughs> What's with all the Ted Lasso references? Um, <laughs> Who's Jamie Tart? <laughs> He's from Ted Lasso. I think it's Pilko's big the, Ted Lasso uh, fan. He was the, uh, the striker that they got on loan from Man City. He had a whole storyline. Um, uh, what was it? Shearer. Shearer. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, I'm ignoring that. It is Shearer, <laughs> correct. Well done. Going up to League panic. 2. Right. Joseph, your question mm. comes in from Felix Eggmouse back. What a name. Who won mm. AFCON 2021? Senegal, South Africa, Algeria, or D, Egypt? Uh, Senegal. Correct, well done. Going up to League One, lovely stuff. No errors so fast. I've got three lifelines. Your question, Zach, comes in from It's Pilko again. Thank you very much, It's Pilko. In 29, 2018, sorry, which household appliance became mascot of West Brom? A, an iron, B, a clothes horse, C, a boiler, or D, a kettle. Sorry? Oh, he's panicking. Oh, oh no. yes. Yes. It was it's all over Twitter. Twitter. When was this, sorry? 2018. A household oh, appliance. So very something, famous. Something this. like a shower. I'm going to have to phone a friend already. For sake, man. <laughs> Oi, <laughs> Sonny, come over. Sun, I'll, get, I'll literally get Sonny in. Sonny, come over here. Okay. Um, I'll put you on speaker. Sonny, you are on the football pyramid. Please do not swear. Do we you're have on a speaker. live super sub. Can you hear me, Sonny? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Sure. Okay, the question is, in 2018, which household appliance became mascot of West Brom? An iron, boiler. a clothes boiler. horse, a boiler or a kettle? Boiler, easy, combi boiler. They're sponsored by boilers. <laughs> I don't know my name is. Boiler, please. Lock in boiler. You're going with, you're locking with boiler. Sonny and Zach, you were in League Two. You called on Sonny, and he was right. Well done. You're That's going up to League One. Wow. You're, you're part of the scum now. Go do your work for Talksport. Get away from here. Get away from here. <laughs> oh, Zachary, having to use a lifeline on that. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, right. I honestly Joe. did not. <laughs> I did not remember that oh. at all. Right, Joe. Your question comes in from Dominic Cassieri. Name oh, the two Portuguese clubs that have won the Champions League. 
A, Porto and Sporting CP. B, Benfica and Porto. C, oh. Benfica and Sporting CP. Or D, Porto and Braga. Oh, the hungover brain. Champions League slash European Cup. Yeah, okay, so then Benfica and Porto. You locking that in? Yeah, yeah. Correct, well done. Well done. Going out to the championship, he was worried. But he kept I was his head. desperately thinking to myself, like, when the hell did Benfica win the Champions League? Because yeah. obviously, since it's changed modicum, then Absolutely. I understand. Ooh, good yeah, use in the 60s, I think. Eusebio. Yeah, very good use, especially considering the hangover. Uh, guys, before we go any further, just a quick reminder, if you want to get your questions submitted, please DM me on Twitter and Instagram. Send in easy ones as well as hard ones. Thank you very much. Uh, Zach, yours in League One comes in from Jake1999L. Behind Real Madrid, who has won the most Champions League titles with seven? A, Liverpool, B, Bayern Munich, C, Milan, or D, Inter Milan? Uh, L- mm. Panica. Panica. Oh, oh. I think so. oh. <laughs> He's panicking, eh? What were the other teams? Bayern Munich. <laughs> Liverpool, hey, here Liverpool, he goes. Bayern, Milan, or Inter Milan? <laughs> don't think it's Liverpool. I don't think it's Liverpool. You do have two oh. other lifelines remaining, Zach. Yeah, I can't keep you. This is getting mental, DG. Um, and also, your life, the other lifelines are... 50-50 never f- helps out. <laughs> oh, never helps go. out, DG. Just because you don't know who won the most panicking. Champions League. Um, don't have a go at its creator. This is outrageous. Um, I'll kick you out. It's going to be Liverpool, isn't it? And I'm going to get annoyed. But Milan. You're locking that yeah, in? Mate, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely Liverpool, mate. Milan, Are you Milan, locking that in, Zach? Milan, I'm locking it in. Okay, Zach, you were in League One. After much deliberation and a bit of abuse, you've gone with C Milan. And you were right. Well but, done. Oh, what? I thought that was Bayern. <laughs> I was literally dead <laughs> certain that was Bayern. No, when you watch that footage no. back, I'm like, like mouthing down the camera. It's <laughs> Bayern. My hungover brain is just already slipping apart. Guys, I've got two hungover idiots for your viewing. <laughs> morning, I no. Joe, your question comes in from Stuart Robson 31. Which club outside of the top five leagues last reached the Europa League final? A, Benfica. Ooh. B, Porto, C, Feyenoord, or D, Ajax? Wow. Well, my initial thought was Ajax straight away. Manchester United, and what was that, 2017? Hmm. Um, we've had Sevilla playing Liverpool in there since. We've had Man United playing Villarreal since. I think just because I know Ajax, definitely 2017, I think it was. I'll go with Ajax because Manchester United. Locking that in? Yeah. Correct. Well done. You're yeah. going up to the Prem. Well done. Solid working out. Handy that you're a United fan for that one as well. <laughs> uh, Zachary, your yes, question sir. comes in from Felix Egmus back. He's back again. What a name. Who won the Puskas Award in 2021? A. Cristiano Ronaldo, B. Harry Maguire, C. Federico Chiesa, or D. Eric Lamella? Eric Lamella. Eric Lamella. Locking that in? Against uh, Arsenal, isn't it? Yeah, locking it Locking in. that in? Correct. Well done. No messing around. Well done, Zach. Good. Right, lads, you're both in the Premier League. Zach, you've got, uh, sorry, Joe, you've got three lifelines remaining. Zach, you've got two. Mm-hmm. Your question, Joe, comes in from Chris Rotella. Which of the following transfers was not a world record at the time? Ooh. A, Pogba to United. B, Zidane to Real Madrid. C, Kaka to Madrid. Or D, Ronaldo to Real Madrid. The original Ronaldo. R9. So, Pogba, £89 million. Pounds. Now, Kaká signed the exact same summer as Cristiano Ronaldo. And Ronaldo went definitely for more. Whether or not Kaká signed before Ronaldo, though, is the issue. Was it like Kaká broke the record and in the same window they broke the record again for Cristiano Ronaldo? I think I'll take a clue on this one. Okay. The clue is... (laughs) It's not actually that helpful. (laughs) Ronaldo (laughs) R9 to Inter Milan was... A world record. <laughs> what the f*** is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** is that clue? I was hoping it was going to be the fee of like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this transfer cost X amount. Not, it's, it's not the helpful, most helpful clue. I don't know how clue, bro. That clue has how is nothing to do with it. Me? How is that even a clue? I, I think that, if you that, work it out, if you think about why I could be, why me or Chris could be giving you that information, maybe it would help you. It's so unhelpful, that clue. Yeah. It's just done absolutely nothing for me <laughs> whatsoever. Unless you're on the same logic trail, it, it doesn't help at all. 
<laughs> which I'm very clearly not. Um, I'm gonna have to phone a friend then. Oh, okay. a double, a double one. Yeah. Wow. No, I mean, the clue. I mean, I'm sure you'll agree, Jalab. The clue is an absolute disgrace. Oh uh, yeah, well. Well, uh, yeah. Who would you like to call? I'm gonna call Patrick Van Straten, mate. Patrick Van Straten. Okay. Hi, Pat. Yes. You are live on the football pyramid. Okay, do you want to tell me not to swear? Yeah, don't swear. Please don't swear. Are you on a train? Are you on a train? No, I'm walking to the gym, Doogie. So it's the <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll get down to business. Right, okay. Come on, Pat. Which of the following transfers was not a world record at the time? Pogba to United, Zidane to Real Madrid, Kaka to Real Madrid, or R9 to Real Madrid? Original Ronaldo. My instinct here is R9 to Real Madrid. I think the Zidane one was. Definitely Kaka was, and it was broken that next summer by Ronaldo. Pogba definitely was. So I, I would say R9. Who, who am I competing for, by the way? Uh, you're helping out Joe Tomlinson in the Dude, Premier League. Give him the clue, see if that helps. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Okay, the, Joe's already used his lifeline, uh, which was clue, and he's gone with. The clue is Ronaldo to Inter Milan was. I mean, that, that's just an irrelevant fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, absolutely absolutely ridiculous. I've already thank taken you. a lot of a uh, few pelters for the clue. Apparently, it's not that helpful. But are you still thinking R9 to Real Madrid? I think it's R9. I really do. Joe, what are you thinking? <laughs> well, I'll trust. I'll trust my boy. I'll trust Pato every day of the week. So I'll go R9 Real Madrid. Okay, Joe. You were in the Premier League. You used your clue, which wasn't helpful. You used Pat, who could be helpful. You've gone with R9. And you're both right. Yeah. Well done. Yes, the Pat clue. Is, the clue actually was helpful because it. Have a good workout. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boss. Because they would only say that clue, saying he he broke it when he went into Milan. That was my if, logic. Zach. Yeah, exactly. I actually I thought it wasn't, wasn't that bad. Do you? Zach, you're in the Premier League. Your question comes in from Ben Flyde. Who plays their home games at Valley Parade? Charlton, Accrington Stanley, Bradford City, or Carlisle United? Don't know what your lower clue, league knowledge clue, is please, like. Clue, please. Clue, please. The clue is they were relegated from the Premier League in 2001. Throw 50-50 in there. Why not? Really? If it, it, yeah. If it, do, if it oh, does, oh, if it does, if it does Bradford and Charlton, I'm gonna lose my f head. I swear well, to are, God. They are pre-written, and and the 50-50 is Charlton and Bradford. Oh. <laughs> what? What a stupid use of the lifeline. That was the worst use of that no, lifeline I've no, ever seen. Because, no, because the yeah. idea was if it had come back... Because you already had it down to 50-50. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but I could have got it down to one exactly if the 50-50 was Charlton and... But the 50-50 oh, is invariably going to go with the two most likely answers. Uh, Bra um, Bradford. Because Charlton, I feel like we're in it later than 2001. You locking that in? I think so, yeah. Yes, please. Is that you were in the Premier League after using two lifelines? You've gone with C. Bradford. Oh, didn't laugh at didn't laugh at Joe when he did it. God. <laughs> and you're right. Well done. You're going up to the Europa League. <laughs> two lifelines. That is classic. <laughs> okay, guys. By some miracle, you're both still on for the clean sweep. Joe has one lifeline remaining, and Zach has none. Uh, I don't know how, but y you're here. Okay, <laughs> Joe, you're in the Europa League. Your question comes in from Parbon K Khan. What was Sunderland Stadium called before the Stadium of Light? Oh. I do like this question. <laughs> A, the County Ground, B, Roker Park, C, the Goldstone Ground, or D, Manor Ground? Roker Park. Locking that in? Oh. Yeah, lock it in. That's great Sunderland knowledge, Joe. You're going up to the Champions League, and I'm very proud of you. Let's go. <laughs> Lovely. Good stuff. Right, Zach, your question comes in from David Adagio. Okay. Which of these teams typically plays in black and white jerseys? Lorient, Metz, Nice, or Angers? Oh, I hope you guys oh. appreciated the French, French pronunciation there. Lorient is uh, orange and black. Angers, maybe it. Metz, maybe it. And what was the other one? Nice. Nice, Nice, don't. I'm trying to think of the badges. I'd like to go Metz, <laughs> please. You're locking in Metz? Yes, please. Zachary, you were in the Europa League. Ooh. You've gone with B Mets. And you should have gone with Angers, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. going down to the Prem. Bad luck. Oh. The game could get pretty interesting if Joe gets this wrong, but we shall see. Okay, oh. Joe, you're in the Champions League. Your question comes in from Yuvraj underscore Beast. 
Who scored hmm. the winning goal in the 2010 Coppa Italia final? A. Samueletto, B. Diego Milito, C. Wesley Schneider, or D. Thiago Motta? It's going to be a guess, isn't it? So let's take it down to a 50 50 straight away. So you're using your 50 50. Yeah. 50 50 is Diego Milito or Thiago Motta? Oh, well. <sighs> It'd only be in there, It'd only be in there, Jay. It'd only be in there, wouldn't it? <gasps> given that it was that sort of season. I'm just going to go with the obvious one. I'm going to stick with Melito, because I know he was so prestigious back then. Joe, you were in the Champions League. You used your 50-50. You've gone with Diego Melito. And you're going to have a chance to complete the wow. show, Joe. Wow. Come Massive. On. Wow. Huge. Really wow. good work. Okay. Okay. Okay, Zach, your question in the Premier League, you can't win the show now, but you can win everyone's respect. Comes in from Dan Knowles 8. <laughs> Who is the youngest out of the Southampton wingers? A. Stuart Armstrong, B. Nathan Redmond, <laughs> C. T Theo Walcott, or D. Mohamed El Yanoussi? For fuck's sake. Ooh. <laughs> it's a tough question. Some say it's probably at the wrong level, it's but never mind. Great question, to be fair. Uh, they could all be between the ages of 29 and 35, to be honest. El Yanoussi feels like he is, an, is maybe like 29. Um, Armstrong could be 28. Okay, so is it Elianusi or is it Armstrong? Elianusi, sure. Locking that in? Yeah, why not? Zach, you were in the Premier League. You've gone with D, Elianusi. And you're going up to the Europa League for your final question. Top how work. Old, how old were they? I uh, can't remember. I think Elianusi okay. is like a year younger than Redmond and Armstrong. Okay, I can't nice, remember nice, off the nice. top of my head. <coughs> right, Joe, have you ever completed the football? Come on, Tomo. Never, mate. Never. Come on, Tomo. If Tom I do it in a hungover state like this, then it's a huge dub. I'm not lying. This is big. Okay. Come on, Tomo. Your question comes in from Godly Martinelli. What a name. Ooh. Who is the scorer of the latest ever goal in a World Cup match? A. Mario Godza. B. Alessandro Del Piero. C. David Platt. Or D. Andres Iniesta. Oh, and you have dear. no lifelines to help you. Mario Gertz's was late, wasn't it? Iniesta's was late too, but I don't feel like it was as late as Gertz's. So at the moment, Gertz's in my head. David Platt's, I'm really not too sure about. Which is probably quite embarrassing, but I would have only been like four years old. I'm just going to go with my gut instinct and go with Mario Gertz's, Dukes. Ooh, go on, Tommy. Joe. This to complete the show. You've gone with A, Mario Goetze. And you won't be completing the show today, I'm afraid. You're finishing in the Champions League. The correct answer was Alessandro Del Piero. Oh. Bad luck. Didn't even contemplate it. Bad Didn't even luck. contemplate it. Right, Zach, if you get this question right, we're going down to a fastest finger first to who wins the show. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zach, your question comes in from Balde Vrinage. Okay. How many English managers have won the Premier League? Zero, oh. one, two, or three? Oh my God. Oh, I can't think of a Blackburn manager for the life of me. And that's the one that's really getting to me. All I can think of about Blackburn is um, what's his face? The guy that Alan managed Shira? Spurs. No, the guy that managed Spurs. Sherwood, Sherwood no. lifting think, that. Oh, come on, Tim. Think, think about the clubs you've already mentioned and the legends that have played for them that have also managed Blackburn. You know what? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's say one. Oh. You're locking that in? Yes. Okay. No. No. Zachary, oh, you were no, in the Europa no. League. You've oh, locked no. in one. Oh. And you are wrong, I'm afraid. Zero is the correct answer. Oh, yeah. what a shame. What a Kenny Dalgleish was the manager you. Donut. Kenny Dalglish was the yeah, manager. Yeah, but I was just, it, it, was even, it was even then I was just trying to think like, sh I couldn't. Yeah. Oh, well. Bit of a shame. Hey, ho. Can't hey, ho. It happened, Zach. But let's go to our winner of today's show. Had a chance to complete the show. Didn't manage to complete it on this oh, occasion, man. Joe, but you must be chuffed. Half hungover, doing this. Mm. Well played. Do you know what? I, fa I think I failed to complete on the final question two or three times now, which is just it's really starting to grate on me, I'm not going to lie. My use of uh, lifelines wasn't great, but I want to put particular shine on the appalling nature of the clue. Oh, uh, here we go. Me into that position, it just feels like the agenda is very, very real against me.
Yeah. Oh, God, I'm going to get loads of pelters on Twitter now, aren't I? The conspiracy. <laughs> Joe's going to make a little hate campaign against me on Saturday it's not morning. not even a conspiracy. It's not even a conspiracy. The clue oh. was totally redundant. Oh, hey, ho. Speaking of redundant, Zach Jalabi lost today. Wow. <laughs> wow. Remember who won Getting this first quiz, the morning, the Remember who won it first, mate? You did. You did exactly. win it first. That's what always that's always that. what I have. And that's the only thing I'll ever well, have. Did you complete it? Have you completed it? Yeah, of course, mate. I was the first person to do it. Oh, now, Zach's completed it. I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Zach is an underrated quizzer. I actually thought you did pretty well today, Zach. Nah, this wasn't I, I, day. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. Yeah. Look, it was one of those games out there. The weather wasn't <laughs> wasn't in our best shape. The wind was against <laughs> us, and just going into it, I didn't really have the confidence. But next time, I'll um, I'll try and improve. Fair enough. Well, if you want to see them try and improve next time, make sure you send in your questions. Please DM me them on Twitter and Instagram for a chance to feature on everyone's favourite Saturday morning quiz show guys if you have enjoyed the football pyramid please like the video leave a comment and let me know also in the comments who you want to see challenge or take on the football pyramid next week thank you very much for watching guys watch all our content across all our three channels snapchat etc and we'll catch you next time bye